do you make of, and now that you are at the break, what do you make of kind of where your team is as it enters the break and where you're set up for in the second half? Um, a lot of positives. I mean, there's always things, clearly. You know, I don't want to say everything's, you know, exactly as we wanted to go. But, you know, you factor in, you know, going back to even spring training, you know, this group has covered a lot of ground um, together. And I feel like we're in a really, really good place. We've shown the ability to play some really good baseball. Um, you know, every team's going to have a few missing pieces, and that's part of the season. Um, and that's a test of of a team's identity and its character and its competitiveness and its depth. And, um, you know, we probably had more of our share of that, you know, especially with you know, a lot of our bigger bigger guys, the big boys. Um, and we, we've been able to, you know, overall play really good, clean baseball. You know, there's been a few games where, you know, you're going to play 99 games. There's going to be a few games that human comes into play. But, you know, as far as um, when we win, we play clean, take good at bats, run the base as well. Um, and sometimes, like today, you know, you have a lot of good quality of bats. You're playing clean defensively. Um, you know, you didn't really beat us anything with the walks. Again, we gave up a few things in a running game, made a pitch, you know, that we would have liked back. Um, but, you know, overall, this team's in a good spot. and. Uh, it's only going in a good direction, and we're going to get healthier in the second half, and um, we're going to continue to improve in the second half. I like I like where we're at, and we're, a, we're poised to make a nice run to get where we want to go and expect to go, and that's the playoffs. I know you do have a break coming up that you get to enjoy, but the, the nine-game trip after the break, what is the level of importance on that? You're playing some tough teams there, and the fact yeah. that like when it ends, it's it's trade deadline time. So the importance of those nine games and, and once you get out of the break. The, the first game on Friday after the break will be the most important game of the year. You know, I just don't, I can't operate in, in um, yeah, our body of work and we look at big picture and that's that's fine. We set up rotations and things like that. But the fact of the matter is, I think it's, I don't think, I know it's a trap to look up and go, oh, we got to do this in this series and this and that, you know, road trip. No, we're going to have 63 games to get after 63 games and to give our best bolt at every opportunity, and I'm confident this club will do that. What what does Reynolds show you with his first inning, and what might that get him? Hey, sees an opportunity today. Congratulations, Sean Reynolds, making his big league debut and punches out the side. That was uh, – Pretty special debut. I know it's a lot of emotions. You guys will talk to him. So it's been a you know long and windy road. Uh, he's won a twenty-three thousand and change to ever play in the big leagues. That's a pretty rare company. Um, so congratulations to him. Bright spot for the day for sure. And you know he'll get more opportunities and um, continue to seize them. Me face guys like Logan Gilbert, Chris Sale. Do you not look at it like you guys stumbled into the break at? Losing six of seven. I mean, how do you see this homestand? Yeah, I mean, we just faced, um, you know, Lopez is all-star too. Beat him yesterday. Good at bats against Sale. You know, similar to yesterday, as a tale of another game. You know, we basically were able to take advantage of yesterday, being able to do some manufacture some things. Manny had a good swing, just like they put a good swing on, on with Darno today. Um, but they were able to grab some bags and do some little things that separated the competition today. Um, we were able to do it yesterday. That's what playoff type baseball is, and that's how you beat, you know, good pitching. You know, they don't give you a whole lot, and you got to take every opportunity. So, um, yeah, we faced some really good pitching, um, and then that's a good opportunity for us. And I thought our bats were good. Again, bats were fantastic today against Sale. We just couldn't cash. You always talk about like how proud you are, how these guys are battling at the plate, and you actually lead the MLB in hits with 876. And I just want to know like how you plan to build on that in the second half moving forward. Yeah, no, we um, I talk a lot about it. I'm sincere in it, irrespective of um, <clears throat> you know our base running, our defense, individually, collectively, our our offensive approach, our pitching approach. You know, I just want us to continue to be better every time out, get that 1% better, um, be the best at getting better. So, you know, relative to the approach, it's been good. It's been a, it's, you know, the offensive approach has been our strongest identity, I feel like, of our club. You know, and I give a lot of credit, <clears throat> you know, credit goes to the players. You know, these guys have really stepped up, taken great, great at bats, um, very selfless baseball. You know, you hear around people that I respect, people in the industry, um, I watch it with my own eyes, and, and you, you look up, and you're like, you know, that's the. Everybody's got their own version of how the game needs to be played, but 
you know, it's a good way of playing baseball where you're not giving up anything and, and, and a, available and aware of all the opportunities that come your way and have the right intent to, to execute. So um, just continue to get better at it. And I know you've got a few key players still out with injuries. Like, how excited are, are you personally to see guys like Toddy and Darvish and Musgrove get back in that second half and contribute to this team that's already rolling? Yeah, I mean, it's good to see, like, Bogey. We just got Bogey back. You know, he's got a couple, two multi-hit games. Um, you know, welcome him back. It's a great another presence in the lineup. Um, you know, we don't have timetables on the three guys you mentioned with, with you and, and uh, Toddy and, and, and uh, Joe. We're going to support the heck out of them. We're going to be excited when they come back. Uh, but we're going to keep getting after it and look to shake hands um, until they do. Do you know, <clears throat> excuse me, do you know if Arise is playing Tuesday or not? Uh, obviously, he's been playing through yeah, something. I don't, I don't know if that's been finalized. You know, I, I, I know um, it's been talked about clearly, Dennis. Um, you know, there's a chance he will not play. Um, then I'll let the club announce that. Um, he's been such a team guy. He wants to make sure what he's dealing with, he can get behind him. We took a step today by staying away from him. So uh, it'll be determined and announced really soon. Given that he has been playing through that, have you, did you guys discuss taking more of a break before today? I mean, you guys have a pretty deep infield. I know Xander just got back, so that, that helps. But just any time off? Um, not really. We didn't think that was necessary. I think we knew the break was coming. We trust the player in Luis. Um, you know, it's always a triage with this deal, the player and medical. And of course, baseball weighs in too. But um, he laid out three ropes yesterday, so he kind of made his case um, for being able to be available and, and be active. So, um, but we'll make an announcement. He'll make an announcement, and the club will, and uh, about his um, All Star appearance or so, uh, on Tuesday. And do you have a date, or even a rough one, for when Tatis will get his CT scan next week? Um, I, th I understand he's going to get some testing and imaging. I don't know if the CT scan is. He's probably going to get more of an MRI prior to the CT, and then we'll evaluate from there. And that's that's going to be sooner rather than later. Over the break? Yes, sir.